Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty, unfair and even harder than that, super cranked up, over hardcore. Um, we are still in the laboratory and we're going to finish it today. <coughs> We've come here to Terventius, uh, the Arc Machinator. And this here looks like these guys are breaking free. We also got pretty sizable <coughs> twisted aberrations. State so your intention. I don't like what I'm seeing. We need cover. I walk the path less traveled. And we're maybe finding that over here. <coughs> Let's make a deal. Where's the profit in this? What is it? Should I divine on You love to take charge, don't you? Did you want something? All right, Avalard. My patience has its limits. Tervantheus, the Arch Machinator. You look several completely uh, identical hemocoli at work, a disturbing sight. The indistinguishable and familiar faces turn their attention towards you, morosely and almost indifferent. How dare you show up alive? This is even better, though. Now I'll cleanse the shame of my death with your blood and transform you and the scum you've brought along into something useful. The Humakali are twitching slightly, though from invisible electrical impulses they look virtually identi uh, identical, yet each seems to be missing something, a limp, an implant, even a facial feature or two. The single gaze of many um, seem full of haunty superiority only, some kind shared defects shown in it. Killed you with my own hands. Have you forgotten that I am a great master of flesh who transcended death itself? Do you think it would be fit me to let a monkey cut my path short? Hemocoli can create copies of themselves by leaving their sample of body sh tissues in secret labs. As soon as the Homoculo breathes their last, I don't suppose, Terventius shared his secrets with Iremarius. But you are not immortal and we both know it. I'm going to kill you as many times as it takes in the name of our fallen kinspeople. I've seen the body of a dead tech priest in this lab. Where did he come from? Scary, isn't it? The thought that you are not the only monkey who serves me. Try and guess, specimen. Try and guess. Trust me, this time I will fail you much quicker than the last. You're different from the others of your specimen. This time around I want to study you much. And I mean much more thoroughly, which necessitates your death. I hope dying once doesn't suffice for you. You are but a fleeting flame before my tempest. You all suffer exquisitely. Well, it was clear that we're going to find a couple of enemies. Let's double check. Does he have a skill that allows him to to act multiple times? Power from pain. Okay, well, I think we can uh, work with that. Full cover here. Sykin takes cover back here. Abelard. Oh, I think we're okay. I 
All right, let's start the battle. Earlier, I need a couple of really, really solid hits. Would you do me the favor? Thank you. All right, one trap. This tedium is beneath me. I am not your Xenos. Easy. Fantastic. Stop trying, monkey. Okay, uh, let's get a few more stacks, shall we? How about this into you give me if that, and course. we're good. If I must, I am not your Xenos. Fantastic. Serves your cause. Earlier it gets a lot of temporary hit points, but since the enemies weren't particularly strong, that's pretty intent. much about it. But on the positive, uh, killing these this guys now will give us a lot of momentum. Your scene of fortune favors the swift. I kill death with my hands. All right, you cannot force me, Elanta. We're down to one shot, <sighs> if I and that must. one goes directly to the to the big bad evil boss. Uh, in the meantime, Adira, please, will do. Set yourself, uh, set yourself up. Oh, nice. Good, couple of stratagems, all of them back there. Um, and how about I'm not so sure. how about we're scouting anyone out? Can't really hit anyone. That's unfortunate. Um, Moves to here. On the battlefield. On it. That and yeah, let's just take a couple of stacks. Okay, Stop we're good. It. Through chaos, I strike. Cycle moves up, and it's time for Jay now. Uh, Marazai hasn't performed that well. We all know about that. It was a bit of a shameful display, but we're going to better his ways. A little bit of buffs for him. A few more buffs here. And a bit of that, and... No. Can we hit anyone? No, we're too far away, right? Yeah. Watch my Jay moves into the next cover spot and see even these guys we have a very low chance of hitting. 30%, that's not great.
Might as well still take the shot, come on. Hmm. Unfortunately, a dodge. That is beneath me. If it serves your cause. Right, one. I am not your Zenos. Two and start trailing him. One, two, three. Uh, do we need uh, healing? Idira needs some. I think we're okay with her. That machine there is being blinded. Fantastic. Idira gets a couple of buffs. And you know what? I need no guidance. Kill that guy. Nearest target takes damage, so that's why this um, other guy is down. I will triumph. We're almost at the heroic point. And keep in mind we have tuned down heroic uh, speed by 50% so you only get half of what you normally would get we can reach him from here that's perfect that is absolutely perfect um, more it. damage Six hundred. We continue to let him burn. Nope, he is not burning for whatever reason. In the meantime, oh, we got a blue horror next to us. Uh, that's not so good. Uh, Saiken, you might want to help me with that. Does this thing have a lot of armor? Uh, I figured it would. Not Can't expose it either. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Can't expose anyone apparently. Anything else? Your death is approaching. Good, so much for our cover. Not great. We're good against these little horrors. Extra shot, kill. No Another trap, right there. I will not. You cannot force me a long talk. Oh, we're that out of ammunition. Well, that uh, is no problem because we have another weapon. And here we go. No weakness is hidden from my sight. Two hundred ten is still good. Okay, now I'm really riled up. That and that, and we're healing a little bit. I can't use another. 
Oh, but we do have a screamer here. Uh, so that little blue one has evolved. Interesting. Well... For the Emperor, let's slay this beast here. 510, not bad. That's a good start. Purpose guides me. I will triumph. Jay gets a couple of guidance. extra bony and I will triumph. Iliad has time to reload. If it serves your cause, I deal death with my hands. Kills that thing and Well we don't have prey, which means that is completely useless. But Jay can uh, use all of this in just a second. Alright, Saigon is fine. Jay, I would like you. It's either Idira or um, Earliot. But since Marazai hasn't done much yet, I actually want uh, him to shine in this battle a bit more than he normally would. So that... I can do goes that to you. With the right right Show us what you got, me. man. Show us what you got. I will hurt the prey. Okay. Opening. Uh, this what? thing. Is this here until the end of the turn? Next melee attack. We don't need uh, only the next melee attack. We need a bit more than that. Free this and let's go. One, two, three. Almost four. But he dealt almost a thousand points of damage, so he can't really falter that. Uh, and he got Inspire. Did he also get a couple of other buffs is the question. There we go. Extermination, that's the important one. And he has hit, so I will let that one fly. But only no, until he gets another turn. <laughs> I can do that with the right incentive. Hmm. Almost. Well, now it's your turn, finally. And I know I for a fact that we do have great AOE attacks. Unfortunately, we're standing in such a such a miserable way. We still have the offhand weapon. Good hit. Uh, you know what? Now's the time for a good heroic action. Fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Good. 
Well, it's only the exterminator and us now. Might as well move up. But he dodges. That's a problem. Still need to find a good way around that. Interesting. Abelard has his first turn and it's... It's almost like the entire battlefield has already Enjoy. perished. It will be done. At your back and call. But Abelard has the same problem. Almost does not hit. Okay, we need to destroy these things, elsewise... They will be respawning over and over and over again. Was, was, was that you? 100 points of damage, Idira. I beg your pardon. How is that even possible? No can do, but of course. Anything Should have used that. We'll do. And a bit of that. No, we're not uh, going to use uh, that. And we're not yet in that zone, so we're not going to use the grand strategy either. But we're giving ourselves a little bit of uh, defense. Okay, well, you cannot force me along. almost got new prey. That, and that, and everybody heals a little bit. There you go. Fantastic. And he's blind. Alright, this and Don't that. Get too cocky. And this. You've got a problem, I've got a price. I am not your Zeno. I understand your intent. Tell me, and it is done. Elliot moves up. And we're good. Uh, can't really hit anyone up there. Oh, there is a Chaos Demon. <laughs> Plague Bearer. Hello there. Don't get too cocky. Slow momentum. That is coming from the extensive use of uh, the warp. Build. That and that. Watch. And we 
stabbed him for a thousand. Well, they are all good, but they need a lot of time to just set up, and it's really very much hit and miss. If you kill a lot of uh, mooks right away and get exterminator and all of the temporary buffs going, then you can hit even these super modified uh, creatures. But if you're not supporting them and they are just going in for themselves, they hit like a wet noodle. So it's pretty much Powers binary. Uncover my path. At the start of their turn, the warrior recovers wounds equal to the number of bleeding creatures. That's not too bad. Um, that plus a bleeding tool could be a nice combination. Whenever the wearer uses an attack and that is of a different type than the previous attack, they gain momentum. Uh, that's pretty damn good. And that's a consumable. Shiri? Good, I want to see the newest. So, uh, that unfortunately. It's a helmet. Could be a good one. Hmm. Do we have different abilities? Well, we to start off, we don't have a lot of resolve. But it's a. It's a good, uh, mm, it's a good item, and I wonder if the, these items here. Fresh injury for bleeding, and I know for a fact that we had a bleeding stone, something that forces everybody around you to bleed. So that was the burning version. There we go. Shard of Bloodstone combined with that Bleeding Injector could be a healing combo. But then again, I mean, look, already we're having two independent uh, effects. And I think the independent ones that aren't really requiring a combo in order to pull them off are oftentimes just better. Good, let me level up everybody. All right, we continue. The space around the hollow is littered with lump and broken concrete. A small wind gets into the room through the ugly hole in the ceiling, stirring up a whirlwind of stone and dust at your feet. The hole in the lab's a vaulted ceiling and hello underneath at this point is obvious. You study the edges of the breach carefully, reflect for a few minutes and conclude that the hole in the lab was blown by several powerful directed explosions. After some more time, you notice the characteristic marks of the debris in the wall. The ceiling was breached using melted charges. Through the piled up dirt and thick dust, you're able to make out uh, the fixtures that were ripped out of their sockets and thrown into the floor. Parts like these are used for fastening industrial girdles in place of large manufactorium around the Imperium. Abelard says, I don't understand. Drukhari machinery and the toys seem out of place in these walls. Nay, they seem positively alien, these walls. Why would the standard architecture of the Imperium bunker? Why would a Xenos conduct their business in a place like this? <clears throat> Tavarian was robbed. I wish I could see his face at the moment he looked up his lair. Although this place is not a immaculate lair, too safe, too shabby, more of a last refuge. My kinspeople were unable to find the place. The Dark Ones would hardly have been content with a single trophy. The work is precise, though not the neatest. Whoever did this clearly knew what they were looking for. The world trembles beneath my feet. Okay, fair enough. Listen, we got what we came for. At least I would say that. E 
Rita wishes to discuss the future and I think we've pretty much destroyed uh, that Embrace flash crafter. I have to wonder though. The world will bow. There is an elevator. And there might be something down there. Not a hundred percent sure. But we haven't found anything, so uncover my path. Compared to it is what it is. That was barely a challenge. I knew Monkey was stupid, but traveling between the stars through the domain of Silent Thresh, I cannot imagine a worse kind of madness. Ha! Our heads are stronger than your thin little skulls. Not everyone goes into a frenzy as soon as the ship translates to the Empyrean. I am stability incarnate. Hmm. Learn from my example. Oh no 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 no. Cogiators are deep in the dreamless slumber. The sacred urgent of their connection is uninterrupted. Keep a sharp eye. Triumph is my birthright. All right, we got a nice little flamer and a bit of loot. But still no answer to what we're looking for. Embrace true power. Yep. Well, that was it. Let's return to the void ship. And that pretty much concludes the winter uh, scale or winter wolf plus plus Quiza Timur uh, questline. We've been here, we've hunted uh, that thing, hold up our end of the bargain. Marazai still looks for new charts, that's okay. Then footfall. Iridia wishes to speak to us. Alright, let's maybe do that. And Nomos also wanted to speak, but somehow that didn't work really well. But I'm sure Iridia is going to be fine. She hasn't received kind of that mental um, brain manipulator, but at least she got her soul. So, things are good. So... Let's start with Nomos, shall we? All right, uh, finally we can talk about the incident. First there, were epi uh, there was uh, Epitaph World, uh, but it's merely a case, a container for something we cannot name and cannot understand. Theodora and the ship have been to that place. A trusted priest in the Crimson comprehended the gift and raised from Epithas, and from it he created the databank as a list of tag blight. But uh, that is how Nomos came into being. We were not invented, we were not freed, we came into being by accident. Theodora's ambition uh, for a huge ship, Amaranth's mind, an inquisitive attempt to comprehend the extract. We slipped in, connected, emerged like an electrical discharge between poles. Do you know where this epita is? The data is gone. Deleted. Um, but we cannot trace to who did it or what. Attack blight? A gift, but a terrible one. You know, uh, you would call it a weapon. Theodora co uh, coverted it. She needed this so desperately, but we don't know why. Investigating the tech bike and Normos was born as a result of the incident, so 
Um, how was it possible that no one in the crew knew the whole truth? Truth was hi hidden deliberately. Your officer's memories were stolen. All of the cogiator's memory banks were wiped. It took you freeing us uh, the truth bit by bit uh, for it to piece it together and understand. Who has the resources, knowledge and power to accomplish such a feat would have been beyond the capabilities of the blessed um, Amarat himself and he would never destroy knowledge. As Kleptio says, the story disturbs me. It sounds like an echo of, ins of a sacrilege whose name is the pre preservation of ignorance. Spirit of Nomos must be protected. Let's talk about the future. You, in fact, have a purpose, Nomos. Then tell us what. To serve the light and truth and greatness of the Imperium. The chorus of the servitors dutifully repeats your words, but uh, seemingly without understanding that Nomos is preoccupied, the huge cogiator continues to sing its um, creaking song. All right. Now it's time to go to Iridia. There's a random dead person. I don't even want to know that story. Uh, when Iridia sees you, her lips curve into a smile and she nods over your shoulder. Iridia, how are you not uh, regretting your decision? Are you? Never, Never been, been better, Lord Captain. No joke. As soon as I stopped fearing for my life, even the voices in my head quieted down. But don't get me wrong. They will come back. And one day I'll find myself in a situation I can't get out of. But for now, I'm fine. And it's all thanks to you. Hmm. You know, I think it's pretty ironic that my gift lets me see the future. When thinking about the future is the thing I'll do anything to avoid. Substances of all kinds, jokes, stories about their good old days. <laughs> I hide under them all like a blanket. As long as I don't poke my head out, everything will be okay. At least, that's what I thought. But I'm tired of living other people's stories. I want to tell my own. I don't know when or how mine will come to an end. But I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that somebody someday tells at least one decent story about Adira Tlas. And I can't think of a better way to do that than by standing shoulder to shoulder with you. One story don't sell yourself short. You already had what quite are a we few. waiting for? Get a scribe in here. We need to get all this down before we forget. But we have to make me more heroic and powerful so that I come out looking the best next to your other companions. <laughs> what do you reckon? How many wastrels have we slaughtered? A million? Stuff that. Let's make it two. Of course. All Very good. So the door quest is uh, done, which means we need to go to Footfall and find shards of the tempest for good old marasai uh, and footfall will be funny because in footfall we are going to accompany jay which means it's yet again group number two it's almost like the game forces us to do a couple of uh, missions with the characters in group number two heinrich's already had his mission um, do we have anyone in group number one that might want a mission. How about you, Pascal? You look like you want to tell me something. My apologies. 19%. I was not knowledgeable. The data is scarce. Not with... In light of the Ogmas... No. I am concerned about the fate of Ogmagus Amanat. Of course. The form of prohibitions established by unknown elders. The form of an audacious violation of those prohibitions. The form of following dogma or of schism. The form the ominous. I will continue my research into the blessed martyr's memory. This statement is I had. It was what my security. May you 
Okay, no uh, companion quest for him. Can activate a couple of control panels, but that's not what I want to do. Uh, where is our space wolf? He certainly has a story that he would like to share with us, right? Come on, Ulfar. Find my pack, as this is the name given. Be worthy of. Why did. Hmm. I have slain many Zenos, not everyone. Good, we know all about that. I'll just go through a couple of the answers. I think there isn't uh, much that I can get out of uh, them uh, yet. I will thank you nonetheless for sticking with me through this. Next time I think we're going to uh, footfall and are going to continue the main uh, storyline. Until then, thanks a lot for watching and have a great day. See you soon. Bye bye.